Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Living Life, A Life You. I am your host, Dr. Veronica Garcia, and today we are joined with Kathy Tillery. Hi, Kathy. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. And she is an essential resource for the nutrition and um, dietetics department at Life University. Tell us a little bit about what is your role at the university? Oh, goodness. I feel like I wear a lot of different hats mm -hmm. here. Um, I'm an assistant professor, so I do teach over in the nutrition department, mm -hmm. which I love. But my my I guess my most biggest role here is as the campus dietitian. Nice. And that one is, again, I wear a lot of hats with that. Mm -hmm. um, I'm here for all of the staff, students, faculty, um, for any nutrition concerns at Life University. However, with such a population and of athletes on our campus and having a, a background in sports nutrition, okay. I do spend a majority of my time um, in athletics and with all of our, our sports team here at Life. So what is your background? Uh, so, um, kind of go back a while. Uh -huh. Um, I've been a dietitian for over 25 years. Beautiful. So I have a lot of, I guess, different and unique experiences. Mm -hmm. Um, for me, when I started, I was a collegiate athlete myself. I grew up doing sports, did mm -hmm. college athletics, um, had went into college thinking something in athletics and I landed on nutrition. Mm -hmm. And so from there, just my past with, um, I have my undergraduate in, in nutrition from university of Georgia. I have my master's in exercise physiology from Georgia state. Wow. And then did my internship at Vanderbilt university. So I did quite a bit of clinical work, um, in the early days, but transitioned to my own private practice, mm -hmm. um, working a lot with eating disorders, a lot with sports, mm -hmm. general health and medicine, um, clinical as well, but I think for most dietitians, that's kind of our base, mm -hmm. but my specialty has always been in the sports realm. That's beautiful. How exciting. I love that. Yeah. So I heard Georgia, Georgia. Yeah. Are you from Georgia? I am from Georgia. It's so, yes. it's so rare to meet someone at Life University that's born and raised in Georgia. Yes. Yes. That's I was, so cool. Um, I was born in Marietta. So I've, I've known about life for, for years and years. Yeah. Um, so it's, it's kind of fun to make the journey back. Mm -hmm. How long have you been at this, at the university? I am finishing up two years. So going into my third. Nice. Third congratulations. Year. Thank you. That's awesome. How has the experience been? It's been phenomenal. I have loved the campus. I have loved um, everyone here. Everyone is just so sweet. It feels like such a family mm -hmm. here, whether it's, and I feel like I'm in two different departments. I'm in you know, more of the academic faculty side and they have just a fantastic feel over there. And then with the athletic side, mm -hmm. I feel like it's such a, a family as well. So mm -hmm. um, great experience. I love it here. That's awesome. And uh, as a fellow um, collegiate athlete for a long time, I I did had a lot of experience with eating disorders personally, as well as in teammates and things like that. What inspired you to get into this realm? I think for me, um, as a high school athlete, mm -hmm. I... I struggled with eating, of not feeling I was full mm. and with performance and then getting into the collegiate field of, of sports. Back then, we didn't have sports dietitians. Mm -hmm. We had the one professor that was specialized in sports, and that's about all we had. Mm -hmm. And at the time, you know, 25 plus years ago, there wasn't sports specialty dietitians. There were dietitians or faculty in nutrition that had that desire to to work with athletes, whereas now you see it exploding where um, a lot of the colleges are bringing on dietitians, the professional, whether it's um, baseballs, um, uh, basketball, even hockey now is getting in with bringing in those specialty sports dietitians that are trained in sports. That's awesome. That's really exciting. How do, how would you say it would differ like the diet of our life university athlete versus the diet of maybe someone that's not as, you know, physically demanding in a physically demanding sport? How, what, how would the, that change be? You know, with our athletes here, they spend so much time mm -hmm. with their sports. Mm -hmm. Most of the time they have two workouts a day. And then they, on top of that, they have their classwork and some of them work as well. So yeah. their time management is really hard for them and the amount of calories that they need to eat. Mm. And I think for some, especially women athletes, they don't realize how much they have to eat mm -hmm. to perform. Um, so that's the difference with um, an athlete and a regular student is they just have to eat a lot. Yeah. Um, but it's teaching them how to eat the right foods. A lot of these kids are coming right out of high school and they're 
parents have made their meals. Yep. They've packed their lunches. They haven't had to, to make those choices on their own. Mm -hmm. So me, I always tell them first and foremost, I am not the food police. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you what to eat. I'm not going to judge you. I'm not going to, to go around and be like, oh, you can't have that. Mm -hmm. It's really teaching them how do you eat. Mm -hmm. you know, when we were in such a society of high protein diets mm -hmm. and media driven messages on nutrition, mm -hmm. as I really come back to, okay, what are carbohydrates? What mm -hmm. are good carbohydrates? Right. What are good proteins? What are good fats? How do we incorporate this so that you as an athlete can, can navigate the dining hall? Mm -hmm. You can navigate when you're traveling or when you go back home mm -hmm. and you're in front of all these different foods, but also it's my, um, it's my wish to teach them how to eat for life. Yeah. Yeah. That's really, and, and, and not life university guys, but like the longevity exactly. of our living. That's, that's so important. I absolutely love that. Um, as a resource uh, and as, as the campus dietitian, um, if there are students that might be listening in or faculty or staff members that might need some guidance, can they contact you? And if so, how can they find you? Absolutely. Anyone is welcome to, to come and have a visit with me. Um, I'm happy to see each and every one. Um, the best way is usually through my email. Mm -hmm. um, that's the best way to contact me. A lot of people, I do have an Instagram account for the university. Awesome. So um, reaching out and following my Instagram is always a good idea because um, a lot of times, you know, with email, they get jumbled, misspelled, in. jumbled up, they, you know, they, <laughs> they reach out or, or whatever. But um, my Instagram page also has a lot of nutrition information and I'm always putting new stuff out, trying to, to get that, the correct mm -hmm. evidence-based nutrition out there. And what's that Instagram? Instagram it is life you underscore fuel. Oh, I love that. It's yes. Weird. Mine is always about fueling, especially fueling athletes. It's yeah. It's not just about eating. It's about fueling your body mm -hmm. and fueling it the right way. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. And if you had two or three keys, um, key advice that you would give maybe someone that's transitioning an athlete that's transitioning from high school to collegiate. And it's kind of transitioning into those two times a day training and all that. And they're about to start because we're right now in the middle between graduating high school and starting college. What, what advice would you, would you give them? Mine is seek, Seek the resources we have here on campus. Mm -hmm. um, or if you know if someone's here that's not on campus, is seek those resources of the professionals that know. Instead of listening to to TikTok, to mm -hmm. social media, to you know, the guy at the supplement shop, it is really <laughs> finding out what what true nutrition is. Mm -hmm. Um and not looking, there's so many fads. I've seen them come and go. Mm -hmm. They've been around again after um so many years, is is finding those that really have the knowledge behind that. Mm -hmm. uh, whether that be a dietitian, whether that's their coach, whether they're that's their athletic trainer or their strength and conditioning coach, all of those can be resources. It's just plugging in to the right the right person. That's amazing. Thank you, Kathy. Anything else that you would like to share with the community? No, yeah, I'm just, I'm, I love life. I think this is a fantastic campus, um, fantastic university. Um, I'm just glad to see it growing. Thank you. Well, thank you for being here. Thank you for coming back to your backyard yes. that, that <laughs> saw you grow up and serving to the community at Life University. Mm -hmm. Guys, this is another beautiful hidden gem at Life University. So use the resource. It is here for you. Thank you, Kathy, for spending some time of your heavy day with us. Um, and we hope to see you soon. Yes. Have a beautiful day, guys. Thank you for joining another episode of Living Life at Life U.